Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer. And, you know, it's been a little bit since I made a video just talking, and I was inspired to do it today. So, here we go! <laughs> So I'm going to talk about legalizing pot, I'm going to talk about smoking pot, I'm going to talk about the topic in general. Uh, first on legalization, I'm for it. I'm not really crazy about pot, but I'm pretty convinced that the damage done by making pot illegal is bad. That you know, what we've done is we've taken what could be an industry of farmers, the same people that grow corn and soybeans or whatever today. Um, could be growing pot tomorrow and that would be it would be better for the world right now what we have are crime cartels drug cartels growing this stuff transporting this stuff instead of having legit businesses operate in the ways that legit businesses operate you have drug dealers on corners um, you know it's not that I think pot makes people violent but money can make people violent and that's why drug dealers are violent that could go away. That whole scene could just disappear, at least the pot aspect of it, if we made it legal. And we would turn it into a business and do our thing. There are some things I don't think should be legal. I don't think we should advertise it. I don't think we should glamorize it. I, I think that, you know, what we do with, um, you know, cigarettes in particular, like outlaw their advertising in all sorts of different places, is a good thing. We don't have to be pro-pot just to be legal pot. And it's prohibition. When you hear prohibition, at least in America, they think of the 1920s and the gangsters and the alcohol that happened there. And it's pretty impossible to make alcohol illegal and make that not a thing because it's what happens to grapes when you ignore them. It just turns into alcohol. It does a thing. It's pretty difficult to make pot illegal because it's a weed and it grows easily almost everywhere in the world. It's not that big a deal to, to make this thing you know, into a smokable drug. When you outlaw something as easy to do as that, then you end up fighting a war that you can't win. So it would be a nice idea to take this thing, put it in the hands of legit businesses, and get it out of the hands of people who do harm. And then, of course, there are people who are locked up. You don't really get thrown in jail for smoking pot very often, but what does happen is maybe someone will go to jail for something else, like... um. I don't know, assault and battery. And then he's on probation and he gets caught smoking pot. Now he's violated probation. Now he's actually in jail for smoking pot because it was a violation of his probation. This kind of thing could go away. We have a lot of people in jail who just did that. And it's not a, it's not a good thing for America. It's not a good thing for the world to take something like that and make it illegal. But I have another issue. I have an issue with people who agree with me on this topic. People who agree with me that, that pot should be legal are often almost trying to sell it as if pot is good, but it's not. It's really not. It's, I see people sell it as if it has no negative health effects. I see people talk about pot as if it has positive health effects. Oh, it clears, it cures glaucoma. It helps somebody with their cancer. It's an anti-nausea, wonderful thing. And, um, like... Certain little pieces of that may be a tiny bit of truth distorted into something bigger, but by and large, it's not good for you. It's a vice. It's a vice like smoking cigarettes. It's a vice like drinking alcohol. Other things that are legal, but not good. I feel like if we're going to have the conversation about making pot legal, we should also have the honesty behind it that it's not actually a great thing. You know, it... it when you smoke pot over a long term, there's a memory loss issue behind it. That's a real deal. You actually do suffer memory loss. Um, I want to say pot gives you cancer. And some guys are going to tune out from that. But there are more carcinogens in a inhalation of uh, like from a, a roach or whatever than you would get from a cigarette. It's actually worse. The thing is, the way that you use it is much different. People who smoke cigarettes inhale a lot more cigarette smoke than people who smoke pot inhale pot smoke. But um, uh, the true and and there haven't been studies to link cancer to pot because it's difficult to find like people who smoke pot all the time who never try cigarettes and and really isolate it and get sample sizes and it's illegal. So this stuff is harder to study. But they can see what comes out of this out of the the pot cigarette or whatever and. Um, it's bad. You know, you're not inhaling something good. It is a vice. And then the biggest one for me 
is that over the long term, it seems to sap ambition. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when people smoke pot over time, there are exceptions. You know, President Obama smoked pot. Heck, I think our last three presidents all admitted to smoking pot. Um, uh, Michael Phelps, the Olympic swimmer, obviously got caught smoking pot. It's not as if you can't smoke pot and still have ambition, but let's... I mean, look, level with me. You guys know any long-term pot smokers out there? Are they winners? You know, are, are they crushing it in life? Are they excelling? There is definitely a correlation between smoking pot and not pursuing more ambitious life goals. Pretty much. You know, at, at least the, the chronic pot smokers. So... It should be legal. It should be legal because just like alcohol, making it illegal is worse for the world than making it legal. Having said that, just like alcohol, using it is worse than not using it for the individual. You know, it's a freedom issue. You shouldn't lock people down. Oh, another reason I like it to be legal is I feel like it's not harming other people. It's a thing that you do by, you know, to yourself. It's a decision that you get to make because if you smoke pot, you're not hurting me or my family or my neighbors or my world. You're doing a thing for you and it's a, you know, cost benefit that you get to put on yourself. Yeah, I'll get some memory loss. Yeah, it's not good for me. Yeah, this is smoke that goes in my lungs just like cigarette smoke that goes in my lungs. Yeah, these things are all true, but I've decided that the high is worth it and that's a thing that you can decide without imposing it on other people. Therefore, it's a freedom issue. I just wanted to put a video out there that said, you know what? <laughs> Let's not pretend that this thing, just because it's quote unquote natural, is good. Arsenic is natural. Poison from snakes is natural and toads. There are lots of things that are natural that aren't good for you. And pot is one of them. So, if you're doing this, then just know what you're doing. And if you're vocally pro pot, I hope that you're honestly vocally pro pot. Because it seems like the louder voices right now are dishonestly vocally pro pot. And they make it seem as if it were a health food, and it's not. I hope you enjoyed the commentary.